Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be another new one in the like revisiting type of category. Uh, basically, I am flashing back to my two Sephora holiday hauls that I did last year. I'm gonna be chatting about the products that I purchased last year, if I still enjoy them, uh, have I decluttered them, what are my thoughts on them now that I've had them for a year. I've done a couple of videos like this in the past. Uh, I will link a few below and I will also link to a few of my friends that I have seen do this style of video as well. I think this time of year, especially it gets really fun to flashback. Um, I'm still planning to do a uh, flashing back to my last year's favorites video, like my end of year, all of my favorites in one video. Let me know if you would like to see that one revisited. And then of course, again, as we get to the end of the year, we have to do like our yearly favorites. I mean, there's so much to do right now. I'm so excited for it, but I really enjoy being able to flash back to some of these past videos, whether it be favorites, whether it be hauls, and uh, just kind of discuss my thoughts on these products. So jumping into it, like I said, I did have two different Sephora holiday hauls because that's amazing. Uh, but in the first one, the one of the items that I purchased was this one from Jouer. This is the Blush Bouquet in Adore. This is definitely still a favorite of mine. I talk about this blush palette, or this blush duo, so often. Uh, I just recently ranked all of my blushes in my collection, and this one ranked very high up there. I love both of the shades in here. I enjoy the mirror. I like this little compact. Uh, I tend to always, like, I shouldn't say always, but I tend to very often throw this into a travel bag, my on-the-go makeup bag. Uh, I just think that it's so beautiful and I really enjoy both of the shades. I had actually purchased the Coquette Blush Duo first and I really enjoyed the formula but the shades weren't exactly me and I knew I really wanted to get a door and it kept either, it was it, it either wasn't in stock yet at Sephora or it kept going out of stock but once it came I remember thinking that I thought it was going to go back out of stock before the sale started and it didn't um, and I'm really so very happy with this one. So it was funny to see that I purchased this one last year. And then another item that I got from Jouer was their concealer. So this is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I went on to really enjoy this concealer also. It's still really high up there for me. Uh, it is more of... Uh, it is more of a full coverage. It looks a little bit more mattifying on the under eyes, but it's still... I, I find it still really easy to blend out. And I really like the look that it gives my under eyes. I bought this because a lot of people were really raving about it. And I'm happy to say that I, I do still enjoy it too. So you see this one pop up from time to time. I think I just had this one in a shop my stash bag because I felt like I hadn't been giving it the love that it deserved. So still, still another one that I enjoy. Uh, a lip product that I purchased in that haul was this liquid lipstick here from Fenty Beauty. This is in Uncuffed. So this is their liquid lipstick formula and the shade is really beautiful. You can kind of see actually, can you see it on the camera? Like a little bit of um, a line there. My mind's blanking right now, but uh, I actually got a lot of use out of this one. This shade is really, really beautiful. It is um, kind of more of like your rosy mauve, like kind of like a deeper rosy mauve, I would say really beautiful shade when I first purchased this I remember wearing it so often the applicator is a little bit different like it's kind of like a smaller ball on top and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it but I was able to kind of use it to even line my lips a little bit uh, so I ended up getting on with it it is you know a different shape for a lipstick it's a little bit harder to store than some of my other ones but still I'm a big fan of this formula and I really did enjoy this color so this was a pretty successful haul so far. Uh, I did want to say, I did film this makeup look. I have the eye look and some of my face products and my lip combo for an Instagram video. So if you want to check that out, I will have that in my description box too. Got my hair curled today. I got earrings on. I got lashes on. And I got sweatpants on. Not going to lie. Definitely have sweatpants on right now. The purchase that I had from that haul was the Atelier Cologne. It has a really long name. It's like the Vanilla incense something i actually just touched on this recently but why did i oh it was in my sephora recommendation slash wish list video that i did before this most recent holiday bonus event and i was talking about how um i purchased it it seemed to go out of stock after that because i remember like talking about it hauling it 
sharing about it and so many people were saying it was out of stock there was talk of it being discontinued but it is back on the Sephora website and I am a really big fan of it I actually do still have it it's actually just in my like travel purse I take this with me quite a bit because I just got the smaller guy so it's just in like a longer tube it's not a roller ball it still is the spray but it's a really really nice fragrance like I was saying in my recommendations video it's uh a lot of you guys seem to like how I how I categorized it as like a grown woman scent. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it just is kind of like almost a little bit more like seductive maybe. And I don't know, it just makes me feel some type of way when I wear it. It's it's really very nice. Um, it, was, it was pretty pricey for like even just the smaller guy. So I tend to only bust it out on like those important occasions. But it's still, it's still really a really nice one. Uh, also in there, this is probably the only thing that I didn't or that I don't like now from the haul, I guess I should say. These were from Lily Lashes in the style of Mykonos. I liked them fine when I got them. I remember as I've been kind of like looking back at, at the other videos, one thing that I said about them that I still agree with is that they do seem very heavy. They are a very thick lash. They're a very full lash, very dramatic. Um, so they can feel a little bit heavier on the eyes. So when I would wear them for like hours and hours and hours at a time, I would feel like my eyes would almost start to get like almost droopy if you will because they are a heavier lash if you really love dramatic styles i think that a lot of lily lashes would probably work out for you but especially mykonos um but these days i just don't wear lashes as much i have on the ColourPop queenie lashes right now because uh, i want to get my review on them um and i don't know i just i was playing with the lawless the little one palette that i just hauled and I felt like I wanted to play with the black and then I did like the smoked out liner and then I was like, I'm going to do lashes. I don't know. It escalated really quickly. I was going to do an all matte, very simple, like smoky eye and then somehow this is what we ended up with. I don't know what happened. I just don't wear lashes as much and I tend to, like the lashes that I'm wearing now are a little bit more on the natural side, which... I feel like that's still what I liked even when I was wearing lashes almost every single day. There wasn't a lot of times that I went for really va va boom dramatic lashes, but I still like lashes that it's like, yeah, I'm wearing fake lashes. I'm wearing fake lashes, you know, I'm not trying to like be that natural or anything, but I don't know. I don't, uh, I, I, I wouldn't go for that style again right now. Who knows? Maybe next year I will. You never know. We're always changing. Our preferences are always changing. And then the last thing that I picked up from that particular haul was from Marc Jacobs. This is their uh, Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in Caparazzi. I really like the shade. It's a beautiful, just like very um, obviously <laughs> coppery. I mean, hello. Um, I have to like swatch it because I do have nails. I swatch it with my knuckle. Is that weird? Does anyone else do that? Um, but otherwise, it's going to get all up in my nails and I am not going to like that. So we're just going to go ahead here and do a quick knuckle swatch but like I was saying it is a very beautiful coppery color and it has a lot look at that it has a, a lot of like glitter in there but I didn't need to use this one with a glitter glue I'm honestly just kind of lazy I don't really go for glitter glue a lot anyways but I feel like I could wear this as just kind of like my regular eyeshadow and it would stay in place really well I had also purchased prior to this the hourglass or was it after oh now I can't remember which one I purchased first but um, I also purchased from Hourglass one of their Scattered Light shadows and compared between the two because one is I think Hourglass is 28 and Marc Jacobs is 29 or vice versa. Um, uh, actually the Marc Jacobs might be 28 but I actually prefer this one more because to me these seem more special than the Hourglass. I feel like with the Hourglass I'm kind of just getting like a really shimmery eyeshadow kind of like I don't maybe like an Anastasia shimmers. I know that those are just like very shimmery and beautiful and pretty. That's what the Hourglass reminded me of, whereas the Marc Jacobs is just like more special on its own. And because you're just getting a single shadow and it's so much money for the single shadow, that's why I preferred the Marc Jacobs. But I still do have this one and I still do think that it's uh, it's a very pretty one. So it's just pricey. I would recommend it at a discount for sure, but I still enjoy it. Uh, and then moving over to the second haul video, an eyeshadow palette that I got there was this one here from Huda Beauty. This is the Emerald Obsessions eyeshadow palette. 
These are $27. You get nine different shades and uh, a mirror. So this is funny to me that I purchased this one because I don't really wear green a ton. Um, like greens and blues are probably two colors that I just don't wear very often. I like like oranges and reds and of course I like browns but I also really like purples. Like I try to find colors maybe kind of like opposite of green eyes that I think would pair really well with them. And then just greens and blues I don't wear a ton. So it's just kind of funny to me that out of all of the Huda Beauty palettes, this is the one that I decided to purchase. But I have tried her other ones. And the reason why I wanted to purchase from this collection was because I had Smoky Obsessions, Mauve Obsessions, Warm Brown Obsessions. And I felt like the quality in, in these palettes were so nice. I liked the smaller shades. I liked more of a color scheme. That's when I was like really starting to get into having those smaller palettes but I don't feel like the quality and like the uh what are these called the gemstone uh collections I don't think the quality is the same as the first few palettes that I tried which I was pretty disappointed in and especially because I don't work with greens a ton it almost just made this one even harder the mattes were harder to blend some of them were a little bit patchier or didn't show up as well the shimmers were pretty in here too but I definitely don't reach for this one as much as I still reach for Smoky Obsessions, Mob Obsessions, and Warm Brown Obsessions. So that one was a little bit of a disappointment there from Huda Beauty. I also purchased a candle in that one. This was from Cole and Canary. I purchased the Smoky Eyes and Dreamy Guys candle. I was disappointed in the candle, honestly. I haven't repurchased anything else from the brand. You know, I was just excited to try like different candles because, of course, I always hear everybody talking about. Um, Bath and Body Works and all of that and I actually don't get into candles as much as my husband does. Mitch actually really likes when we light candles especially obviously like in the winter time it just kind of can make you feel a little bit more cozier. We already have I mean I'm looking outside at snow um, it's already snowing quite a bit here which is a bummer so I feel like like nights at home maybe you got something in like the crock pot and you got a candle going maybe it's the wine like mm, that's nice maybe you got your Atelier Cologne <laughs> perfume sprayed on. I don't know but uh, I just didn't really love it I didn't feel like there was a ton of scent to it they didn't seem very long lasting um, it was kind of one of those candles that I could light and it would feel like unless you were standing right next to it you wouldn't know that there was a candle lit versus other ones just kind of have that aroma floating around so I didn't end up repurchasing anything else um, from the line I also purchased a lip set from Laneige. I purchased purchased their Kiss and Makeup set. It had a full size of the lip sleeping mask and then three minis in there. That set was so good. That was the first time I was trying out the lip sleeping mask. So many people have been raving about it. You know, it's such a loved product on YouTube and I was so happy with it. I actually just used up my lip sleeping mask like last week. I just used it up. That thing lasted me almost an entire year and I used it every single night. I mean, I'm sure there was like a night or two that I took off. But majority of the time, I was using that every single night, and it took me almost a full year to use up. I actually repurchased a lip set that they had um, at Sephora recently as well. I would have hauled it um, recently also. I can't remember. I think it's called, like, the Kiss Me at Midnight set. This had the full-size lip sleeping mask and then two two minis in this one and again it was $28 so I did that because I was like I'm gonna keep the bigger full size uh, and then I put the travel size in my travel makeup bag I gave two of them away I kept one for myself put it in my travel bag so even when I am like out of town uh, I can still use it at night and so I'm excited I just busted into it the other night I posted like a really nice boomerang of my fresh lip sleeping mask before I got into it and yeah it was really crazy to see that how long it lasted me but it's so good so that's why I purchased another set again I can have another mini or I can give one away or have a friend try it and you know see if I can entice them to buy the full size but really impressed with that really happy that I bought that and then the other item, the last one that I purchased was from Dior. This is the Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I have the shade 2.5N. It's a little dark for me, but that's okay. I also really like this. I was in Florida recently. Um, I went to a launch party with Ofra, and this is one of the foundations that I brought with me because it's a nice, more of like a light coverage foundation. You can maybe do like light to medium, um, but it's pretty light. I definitely liked it in the warmer months or 
like when I'm going to a warmer climate. I know when we took our vacation last year to Punta Cana, this was actually the foundation that I brought with me because uh, it's still very it's still very pretty, but I like that it gives just a little bit of coverage, but not too much. Um, and I ended up still really enjoying it. So uh, it was nice. It was, it was fun to flash back and see that this was one of the foundations that I purchased in the haul, and I'm I'm happy with it. I still wear it, and I still take it with me because it is um, a plastic bottle, so it is kind of easier, especially if you're like checking a bag or something and you don't know how your makeup's going to end up. It's more travel friendly, if you will. But other than that, those are all of the items that I purchased in last year's Sephora holiday haul. I think it's really fun to go back and revisit again hauls, favorites, and all of that and just kind of see where our thoughts are, especially, you know, after a year has passed or even longer has passed. I'd love to know what you thought though, so be sure to leave me some comments. And other than that, if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.